back to Tailgate Talks. Aaron Lavery, Nebraska Extension Educator here. And today we're joined by Ben Beckman. Ben is the Extension Educator in Hardington, Nebraska. And today Ben's gonna discuss how to put a value on corn stalk bales. Enjoy. Ben Beckman, Nebraska Extension Beef Educator in Cedar County, here with the Tailgate Talk. Uh, today we're gonna just discuss a little bit about crop residues. As we sit today, a lot of Nebraska is looking at pretty dry conditions across the state. Some areas a little bit more dry than others, but all of us are kind of feeling that crunch right now. And as we move into winter, hay stores might be getting a little bit tighter. Uh, one great option that we might consider uh, is looking at bailing up crop residues, whether that's on our own ground or purchasing those and using those to supplement our feedstuffs uh, this winter. But before we do that, we need to know what the true value of those are going to be, what it costs us to actually produce those and, and put those up on our own farm, or what the value of those going into uh, our feed ration might be so we can properly uh, figure out what a, a value that we are willing and able to pay for those are going to be. So when we look at it from the production standpoint, uh, the first thing we need to consider are the nutrients that are being removed from a field. Uh, if we kind of put a rough value on some of those nutrients, we're looking at things like nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, sulfur. Uh, we're looking at probably three to five dollars per acre uh, when we remove those, especially corn stover, from a crop field. We also have to consider environmental services that those provide. Uh, you know, those um, residues are providing cover on the ground. They're helping keep moisture. They're preventing erosion. We can kind of value those about ten to twelve dollars an acre, and then one of the biggest expenses are the actual baling or putting up of those. It's going to be harder uh, wear and tear on our equipment, and it's going to be some labor costs. We're looking at around twenty to twenty-five dollars uh, per acre in those. And so when we add all of that up, we're looking at around forty-two to, to thirty-three dollars an acre uh, for producing those bales. So the last thing that we need to look at is what value those bales actually have in a feed ration. Um, <clears throat> as we bring those onto our place, or even if we're producing them, uh, we need to know what we should be paying for them, um, or how we actually budget things out, what value those bales are going to be replacing in a ration. Uh, if we look at some work out of Iowa State um, by Dr. William Edwards, he did a great job comparing uh, mixed grass hay ration and uh, dried distiller's grain, uh, mixed grass and dried, dried distiller's grain ration, um, with a ration that had uh, some of the hay replaced for corn stover. So uh, mixed grass hay, corn stover, and dried distiller's grain ration. And uh, the reason that we're looking at those sorts of options is because as we bring those bales on, they're probably going to be sitting around 45% uh, TDN, around 5% crude protein content. And so that's not quite enough in most cases to even match a dry cow's energy and protein requirements. We're gonna need to add some additional energy protein supplement to it. And a dry distiller's grain or, or other distilled grain uh, product are gonna be a great match and a good value option uh, in order to do that. So if we look at that work that was done, um, taking some of that hay out, uh, increasing the distiller's grain uh, portion in that ration to make up for the loss in energy and uh, protein content. Um, we actually put a value on those bales sitting around uh, $80 a ton. Now, uh, <clears throat> we can you know, adjust those numbers pretty readily uh, because we know what value we have for hay, we can figure out what value we have for distiller's grain, and so we can get a pretty accurate um, value on, on that aspect. The other thing that we need to add in is because uh, those corn stover uh, bales are going to have quite a bit of refusal if we don't do some processing to them. You know, the animals are going to pick through, leave the cob, leave the, the actual stock, and be focusing on the husk and the leaf. Um, we need to be able to, uh, you know, factor in any cost, maybe grinding or something like that, which probably leaves us sitting in a bale uh, or per ton cost of around sixty to sixty-five dollars uh, in value. For more information, check out the November Beef Watch article titled Valuing Cornstalk Bales. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time on Tailgate Talks.